the relationship between Women for Change and CODI came as a result of my coming here at a time I was in a political difficulty and uh, the United Church of Canada decided that I come here and spend some time learning issues around uh, uh, peace building, uh, community development, leadership by women, advocacy uh, for citizens engagement, microfinance and adult education. So that's how I came to be here. I'm a graduate of Code International Institute and also St. Francis Xavier University. And since then, I've been coming to assist um, the facilitators at CODI uh, in teaching some of the courses um, that uh, the institution felt I was competent in, also as a way of giving back what they gave me when I was in a time of need. I see the relationship evolving because so far we have trained over 12 members of staff from Women for Change. A lot of Zambians have come as a result of that relationship. Clearly a critical mass is being formed and it is important that we continue on that path uh, to spread the critical mass but also um, working on building a regional training center. Uh, that CODI will have a very important role to play in and that would help us deal with the issue of visas that keep a lot of our people um, away from CODI International Institute. By decentralizing, we think we can capture more people and uh, that um, those who come to CODI, they will be coming for specific training that CODI offers. We have seen women evolve into formidable leaders. They come here not knowing that they are leaders. The course helps them explore through a process called the river of life, where they are coming from, from a very early age and where they are, and pulling out the milestones of their leadership in their stories and showing them you've been leaders after all. And we know that um, once they have been helped to realize that they are natural leaders and that they can be supported in building further skills in consolidating their leadership, they just shine. 